Hi, this is Jamie Steinberg with Starry Constellation Magazine. Annie, this is such a beautiful role for you. How did Judy come across your desk or the opportunity to find you? Well, first of all, hi, Jamie. I love the name of the magazine publication, Starry Constellation. Like, wow, love it, first of all. Um, how did this come across my desk? Um, so I had heard about the story a while ago uh, because one of my theas works for PepsiCo. Um, but what, when I got introduced to the script, um, a really good friend of mine, Linda Vet Chavez, who I'm sure you know, is one of the writers on the project and just beautifully authenticated um, a lot of the dialogue that you hear. Um, she had mentioned it to me a year um, before the project had been cast. And like, just in passing, like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm working with Eve on this project about, you know, flaming hot Cheetos. And I was like, oh my God, that's freaking amazing. And then the audition, like everyone else, the audition came on my, on my um, desktop and, and well, I got it. So. Was there anything then that you added to Judy that wasn't in her initial breakdown? I mean, obviously she's a real person, but you have to put a little bit of your own nuances on maybe as well. Um, I think with something like playing an actual person, you can add nuance, um, but you you try and you definitely have to have nuance, obviously, right? But you have you really have to try and authenticate and be as as balanced as possible and release your ego of what you want for the character and really serve the work as it stands. Because this is a real person and not a real person who's passed on where I can like, oh, this is up for interpretation. This is someone who is alive and well and takes pride in who they are and how they walk this earth. Well, she's such a great mom and she has such personality in her kids. Uh, and they say in the industry is never great to work with children or animals, but you have such a wonderful on-screen relationship with these kids. Did you spend much time off-screen with them to develop a familial bond? Yes, I did. I'm, I mean, it's also helpful that I'm the oldest of four and I'm the oldest girl on both sides of the family. So I love kids. Like, I don't have any babies, but all my nieces and nephews and my baby cousins are my kids. And, and my work is my kids. So I have a very nurturing personality in general. So anytime I get to hug on a little cutie, I will. I love it. And, and those kids were no exception. They were brilliant, so kind. Their parents were amazing as well. It, it was it was easy. It was so easy. We all fell in love with each other and we really did feel like a family. There's so many beautiful moments on this in this movie that's heartfelt. It's painful. It's inspiring. Every single scene is just so beautifully shot. Were there specific moments maybe from filming that really hold a special place in your heart? Oh my goodness. I feel like there was so many moments I mean we just had such a beautiful crew and and cast I mean Eva Longoria leading the ship Federico Cantini creating like this beautiful cinematic landscape Linda writing this this script I feel like every moment on set was a dream that I can't just pick one you know it was the whole experience what do you hope lingers with audiences who watch Flame and Hot? Is it that it's inspirational? Is it that anyone can do anything? Is it all of the above? It's there's so many takeaways from this. I I really think that Flame and Hot is a hero story. I think it's a love story. I I think it shows us that heroes don't wear don't just wear capes. They sometimes hold mops, you know? They're sometimes selling tortillas until they get to figure out what market share is. I think, I think we're, we're expanding upon what a hero looks like and feels like, and especially in our communities that we are all heroes. I mean, you're a hero, you know? You're here interviewing, taking your time doing this work. Like, why not?